Hello, I'm learning Greek, so I'm going to try and do it this way. A textbook on modern Greek for beginners up to GCSE, new edition with answers by Dr. Krip, sorry, Dr. Kipros Tofalis. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, but I don't know for sure yet, obviously. 520 pages in the book, as we can see here. Sorry, I knocked the camera there, sorry. 520 can you see that? It's a bit out of focus. There we go. So let's assume we'll do about five pages a day. So then it will take 104 days to go through this book. So hopefully that'll be fast enough. I learned, I tried learning Greek for several years ago. I went to Athens and I loved it. Absolutely and utterly loved it. I don't know why. I mean, I always try to travel to places and like them, but it doesn't usually happen. I mean, I enjoy being there on holiday, but there's something about Athens that I really liked a lot. So I've been trying to learn it ever since. And I finally found a book that I really, really like. There was this great website for a while when I did really well, but then they changed it also. Like that, basically. So that's page one, textbook. Those are all those details. This is the contents, preface, part one, the grammar. This book has done the grammar first. A lot, some people seem to think that if we do grammar first, that's the best way to learn the language. Part two, reading and listening, comprehension, passages. Part three, topics for prepared talk and essays. Part four, examination papers, answers, Greek, English vocabulary, English, Greek vocabulary and the Greek Institute. I have got a Greek dictionary as well. It's okay. Uh, part one, so I'll go through the contents. Part one, the grammar. One, the alphabet vowels, diphthongs. Two, the def definite and indefinite article nouns. Three, demonstrative pronouns, adjectives, this and that. Four, asking questions. What is this? What is that? I think this is a very typical way of learning a language in the English language. Five, greetings and introductions. Six, nouns, singulars and plurals. Seven, the verb to be. Eight, asking for directions. Where is so-and-so? Nine, sorry, where is such and such place? Nine, the numbers. Ten, the days of the week and the months. Eleven, the weather. Twelve, Greek money. Thirteen, telling the time. Fourteen, the adjectives. Fifteen, the adjectives in the plural. Sorry, the ad fourteen adjectives in singular. 15 adjectives in plural, 16 possessive pronouns, mine, yours, etc. 17 likes and dislikes, 18 the genitive case singular, 19 the genitive case plural, 20 the accusative case singular, 21 the accusative case plural, 22 asking and answering questions, 23 one, when do you celebrate, 24 the vocative case, vocative case, 25 verbs and introduction, 26 the verb, the present indicative, 27 conjugation of verbs, 28, the present subjunctive. 29, the future tense. 30, the past tense aorist. 31, the imperfect, past continuous. 32, the imperative, inactive verbs. 33, passive verbs, the indicative. 34, past continuous of passive verbs. 35, passive verbs in the past tense. 36, passive verbs in the future tense. 37, the imperative in passive verbs. 38 personal pronouns, 39 pronouns, demonstrative, relative, interrogative, etc. 40 participles of active verbs, 41 participles of passive verbs, 42 the perfect tense, 43 the past perfect, 44 adverbs, place, time, manner, quantity, etc. 45 interrogative verbs, 46 conjunctions, 47 comparisons of adjectives, 48 idiomatic expressions, 49 prepositions, 50 writing letters, letters, 51 summary of the tenses, 52 professions, occupations, 53 list of irregular verbs, 54 countries and people. Part 2, reading and listening comprehension passages. So part 1 was grammar, part 1 is the grammar, part 2 is reading and listening comprehension passages. 1, e oik, 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 Yenea, ah, uh, that's sigma, isn't it? Yeah, Soc, Rati. I think this is right. So Socrates, that's probably Socrates. H two H Athena, 
Selk, Rati, 3, O, Alexos, Sok, Ratis, 4, To, op, uh, Spiti, 5, To, Spiti, uh, Sun, X, Seya, 6, To, Proyen, Nama, Proyenma, 7, To, Yenma, 8, Mia, Epis, X, Ni, Nine et tin al gora et in agora ten. Oh no, it should be stin agora because that's sigma, isn't it? So that's stin agora ten sto panto poleo eleven eta kata stimata. 12 Mia Kuriaxiatixi Episkeni Episkeni 13 Sto Ero Dromeo 14 H What's the H? I think it's E Athena 15 So look at H Shall we sort that out now? What's the capital H? Ita, yeah. E Athena, 15 O Perais, Dreyas, O Perias. <laughs> I think that's similar, that's Perias, isn't it? The name of the port in Athens. So O Perias. So we'll see what that is. Uh, 16, Etin, Pelo, Ponis, Etho. Is that Sigma again? Yeah. Etin, Pelo, Ponis, <laughs> Sorry. 17. That's very bad. Sorry. Eti, uh, Thessa, Lonixi. 18, Etin Kriti, 19, Etin Kupro, could be N, because sometimes that U is V, sorry, Kupro, 20, Christo, uh, Niena, Proto, Krivnia, Fota, assuming that's for 21, Eto, Corio. I suppose you're going to want me to check that now because I checked the other one. All right, then. Yeah, Fi. Fa. Fa. Capital F. Fota. 21, Eto, Corio, could be Exorio, but I'm not sure. Or Christorio, because it's Ecaristo, isn't it? So it's Corio, or Horio even sometimes. 22, To, Paz, Car. 23, Oi, Epox, says. 24, Eli, Nixoi, Koroi, Kai, Trai, it's either going to be trag or try on dia. Obviously, I don't know what they mean, and I should have known by now, but I'm learning it as well. Part 3, Topics for Prepared Talks and Essays. Part 4, Examination Papers, Answers, Greek, English, Vocab, English, Greek, Vocabulary, Greek Institute, which I've just sent off today, so fingers crossed it still exists and we can go down that route. Here is a nice map of Greece and the islands. How many islands is that? They're not all occupied, I found out. Here's another picture of Greece. I'm hoping to go in October so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to try and pick up some books I can understand there because I've only got this one and a complicated one and another complicated grammar book and the complicated one is Homer, obviously the Iliad, but I don't understand it so I'm going to have to find simpler books when I go in October. 
after learning this book and try reading the simple stuff and then uh, go from there. So here is, uh, that's just a preface. So that's the preface and that's the rest of the preface by the Dr. Kipros Tofalis, who I'm very grateful for, for writing this book. Um, part one, lesson one. So this is now page 11. So I do feel like I should do this. 12, 13, 14, 15, but I think that's a bit much. So for the first day, so we'll just stick with this alphabet and then we'll go serious from tomorrow. So part one, lesson one, the Greek language is the oldest language in Europe. The modern Greek alphabet remains the same as the ancient Greek. Oh, that's good. There are 24 letters of which 7 are vowels and 17 are consonants. A bit like Hindi and Sanskrit, that is. One. Anyway, so the modern is the same as the ancient. That's a relief. One, the alphabet. So people who've done English probably know a little bit of this through English school. So there's the major alphabet. So I'll just try and go through it. A, A, Alpha, Alpha, so that's capital A, small A in Greek, that's how you say it, Alpha, that's the name of the letter, and that's the name of the letter in the English language, Alpha. So that's B, B, sometimes people say it's V, so it's Beta, that's Vita, see, Vita, V, so it should be Vita probably, Vita probably. Uh, that's G, Gamma, 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 but they've got a H there, so it might be Gamma or something like that. That's D for Delta, 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 E, E, Epsilon, Epsilon, sorry, A, E, P, That's ps e long on See, it's a V, but it's the other way around. No. So that's zeta, z, z. It's sometimes like a s, isn't it, that one? Like in Cedilla for French. Zeta, e. It looks like an H in English language. It's e, e, ita, ita. That's her. And that's uh, theta, yeah. Theta. Hope you can focus it all right. Th theta, theta, in English, theta, th, it, t, a, it, it, again, iota, iota, or iota, probably some people say it. That is slightly confusing if you ask me. Because look, there's gamma. I'm wondering if that's giota or hiota, even. Anyway, we'll find out later in the pronunciation section. K, K, Kappa, Kappa, L, L, Lambda, Lambda, M, Mu, Mi, oh, well, that's Mu in maths, Mi, Mi, N, N, upside down, V, Ni, Ni, and that is uh, C, yeah, Ks, Ks, oh, is a C, so that's a mixed, what I call a mixed letter because it's got more than one pronunciation in it, or a diphthong. I think somebody just said, I'm not sure. O O Omicron, Omicron. That's O M Omicron. Sorry, I K R O N. Uh, pi, isn't it? Yeah, P. Pi as in maths, pi, pi, <laughs> I don't say what that number is worth because I can't remember it off the top of my head. The amount of times I use that, oh well, 2.14 or 3.14, it's one of those. Uh, that's row, 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 like a P with a tail, po, but it's actually row in Greek, row. That's sigma, isn't it? Yeah, sigma again in maths, sigma, little sigma, like the sedilla, sigma, 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 g, ma. Ta, ta, tau, taf. Ah, oh, see, that's a bit of a v, v or an f. Uh, epsilon, y is more like an e, 
but it depends on what word you're saying with that one. I know that one. Ipsilon again, Ipsilon phi phi phi, or probably some people say phi, not to get mixed up with that one, but anyway, X. X E X E key, so that's K really K instead of K. That's the one that's pronounced as, as in Ekari. So thank you, in Greek. Now that is C P S I. So that's Pse. So that one's Pse. It looks like Neptune, doesn't it? Pse, but it's P S. And uh, that one here is Phi. See, we have to watch out for little phi, not getting mixed up with Neptune, N, Psi, and Omega, O, Ow, Omega. Sorry, my phone's refusing to focus properly. Maybe my finger's in the way. Omega, Omega. Okay, I think we'll leave it as that. Wondering where the N has gone there. Oh, there's N. Oh, yeah. Upside V. So Neptune isn't Neptune, it's Ps. I know there's a Poseidon, that's it. The Greek god is Poseidon, that's what's the Greek god of the sea in Greek. Okay, see you tomorrow.